Good evening and welcome to one more Bible lesson. My name is Dr. PJ from the Prophetic Word. And I just want to welcome each and every one of you. And I want to thank you for participating here in these biblical lessons, in these prophetic words and dream and visions. And today I just want to pray that God will continue to give you strength, to continue to enlighten you. I want the Lord to continue to bless you in every way. I ask the Lord to give you spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, to give you the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding that you need to move forward. I pray in Jesus' mighty name, I pray, Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your truth in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. And today, I just want to share with you some words of wisdom and truth and some prophecies. I'm going to start from the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 28 I want you to know that we are living in the last days and we read from the King James Version it says and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions amen so what God is saying that in these last days you, it's going to be an uprising of dream and visions like the spirit of God is going to pour out but also the spirit of the enemy is going to pour out for every negative there's a positive so there's going to be people who be prophesying lies and you can see them in their eyes like they're lying my question to you why are you listening to these liars to these gangsters wake up get into the meat of the word of God get into studying praying and fasting so God can guide and keep you keep your mind covered with the blood because the spirit of confusion is out there. The spirit of the demonic world is active. The devil is a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. There are people who are walking on this earth that they are half human and half fallen angel. Half demon and half human. Because their bloodline, their DNA came from a fallen angel. So they are half fallen angel and half human. They are not 100%. Let me explain. Jesus was half human. Jesus was flesh and blood. But Jesus came from a virgin called Mary. And he was made from the blood and the water but he was only half human the other half of Jesus was divine it was a divine conception through the power of the Holy Ghost the Holy Spirit of Almighty God so since Jesus was half human and half God half divine there are people walking on this earth that are half human and half devil Half of them is Satan and half of them is human. But the only way you can know, you got to see the method of operation. Meaning their lifestyle that they carry. You go all the way back to the garden and you read about how Satan deceived the woman. You go back and you see in Genesis chapter 6. All the fallen angels came down and impregnated the woman. You go back to the book of Enoch 
and you study and you will see how the fallen angels did only come once they came twice the second one God himself had to kill them because the children of Israel disobeyed they did not want to go in they said the Anakum the Anakum they in there so to this day we have men and old and renowned that genealogy that's why we have people with the Gino Opla the RH negative we have people walking around here with orange blood google it if you don't believe me we are living with two type of human beings the 100 percent and the half is not 100 percent that's why we have workers of iniquity root workers voodoo we have all these kundalini all these satanic sororities fraternities we have occultism we have ritualists we have eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood we have people walking around with book of rituals in their pocket but with book of rituals in their car you know there was a young lady who had an experience with her schoolmate and the schoolmate said come on let's go to this particular supermarket I need to cast 10 spells on people today so she was walking around the supermarket casting spells at human beings but when she ran into a woman she ran into a black lady she said and, and, the, and the person who was casting a spell was not from the black race but she was teaching a young black female how to do it be careful who you listen to be careful who indoctrinize you into their ritual because they're seeking souls those demons go out seeking soul they have people who walking around they are half demon and you can see the homemongers sexually perverted men or women are witches the word of God say that the spirit of stubbornness and rebellion is a spirit of witchcraft so all you got to do is to be rebellious and stubborn and the Lord said unto King Samuel through the prophet Samuel he said unto King Saul in 1 Samuel chapter 15 the 23rd verse for rebellion is the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as as is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord he also has rejected thee from being king and you see a person who is rebellious who is constantly committing adultery who is constantly fornicating who is sleeping with everybody whether male or female who is constantly prostituting who is constantly getting high on drugs who is constantly getting drunk who is constantly a wizard who is constantly going to the ancestral voodoo who constantly getting tarot card reading who is constantly embalmed doing rituals is a witch is a witch is an idol worshiper that stubbornness inside of you that rebellious spirit inside of you is witchcraft because those type of people they reject the word of God they reject the true prophets of God with each itching ears their ears itch so much that they don't want to hear the truth they can't handle the truth so therefore they're gonna reject the true prophet you think Jesus wasn't rejected Jesus was rejected the prophet of all they were rejected they were rejected for the truth there was even stoned to death that was burned to the stake alive that was beaten all night long they didn't beat they beat Paul and Silas and put them into chain they beat they stole Stephen to death amen so if you are not greater than your master but be aware that God is speeding up the times now the days were longer and the nights were shorter now both of them now the day is shorter and the night is shorter the month being a new moon a new moon mean anytime you see a new moon a full moon is a new month see that new month and this month is gonna speed up even more because the word of God said if he don't speed up the times no flesh will survive and I'm gonna give you the scripture 
Matthew the 24th chapter verse 22 this is what Jesus said when he was walking on the face of this earth and except those days shall be shortened just shall no flesh be saved but for the elect sake those days shall be shortened so the days are shorter if you can't see it it's because you are involved too much into yourself and the world the worldly people can't realize nothing all they can say okay the weather is coming it's gonna be cold but even in these days we know that the days has been shortened already because of what getting ready to come see disaster is going to come upon this land because there's innocent blood not only shed in this land willfully maliciously vindictively but the innocent blood that is being shed overseas those innocent people that innocent cry those innocent tears those innocent people suffering and their body torture rape everything those people running for their life there is a collective sin that's going to fall upon the nation right now God is calling judgment upon the nation because of the wickedness amen there was wickedness in the land therefore we have to pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ we pray Father God cover us with your precious blood shield us from your wrath that is supposed to come upon the land protect us oh Lord keep us guide us and protect us huh? they have made us jobless huh? they have made us homeless huh? they have made us carless huh? they have the food is 300% higher the gas is six seven dollars in certain states huh? Father God cover us with your blood huh? protect your children Lord protect your Lecker. he said for the elect sex for the chosen one do not curse the prophet of God because there will be a consequence there will be a ricochet there will be a bounce back there will be a boomerang and there will be a backfire upon your head for cursing the true prophet of God think about what happened to the children of Israel when they enslave their own brother the only prophet in the the order the 12 patriarchs was joseph joseph was the only prophet and they enslave him and beat him and torture him and torture him in the name of jesus father god cover us with your blood in jesus mighty name i pray father god for your mercy and your grace and your compassion to fall upon us and your children father god protect our little children protect us on the highway and the byway protect us from criminal assault for those who have the mark of cain upon their forehead father god give us visions give us dreams continue to pour out in the name of jesus upon us father god burn up every weapon of the enemy spirit instrumental weapons weapon of darkness physical weapons burn it up in the name of Jesus oh Lord cast down the wickedness of the enemy the lies of the enemy the satanic altars the evil altars of satanic sacrifice the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood cast them down loose your heavenly host loose your heavenly army to come down and fight for us Lord fight for your children in the name of Jesus from the north the south and the east and the west fight for us oh Lord deliver us Lord Lord, from all evil let that will be done and hurt her and is this done in heaven touch the hearts for the God shake them up for the God loose your Holy Spirit and loose your angels your warring angels loose your ministering angels to begin to minister to each and every one of them go to the families that you have called the elect in every family there is an elect call them out build them up build your army oh Lord loose your heavenly host to begin to recruit your people Lord be send them out to recruit and to pull your children them out of the pit pull them out those who stood up against the enemy from the foundation of the earth in the first earth age Father God call them out now and call them out God is calling his people to prepare themselves in prayer and fasting for what is getting ready to happen in this America of the United States because of the innocent blood in the streets of America and the innocent cry of the babes in America and the voices and the cry and the innocent blood overseas in the name of Jesus Father God have mercy Lord be merciful and forgive us forgive us oh Lord forgive us in our city forgive us in our state 
Forgive us, forgive the leaders. Have mercy upon us because of those who are half human and half demons. Forgive us, oh Lord, and have mercy upon us. Have mercy, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, oh Lord, for mercy. Hallelujah. Mercy, Lord Jesus, and wickedness that they have done. The wickedness. Hallelujah. I see the tears and the cries, and I hear the voices of the women and the men falling. Father, help. Save us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, mercy, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon our children. Have mercy upon our grandchildren. Have mercy upon our home. Protect us, O oh Lord, in the highway, in the byway. In the name of Jesus and the Spirit, saying, Beware of what you're celebrating. Because they're watching for the celebration. And as a celebration comes, they will attack. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus.